This is the Asus Flip CM3, a fully convertible Chromebook with a 12 inch touchscreen with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. I'm hoping this might replace the Asus Spin 311 as my new favourite cheap, small and lightweight Chromebook to travel with, and I think it's going to be interesting to see how it stacks up against the detachable version of the CM3 that I also reviewed recently. Let's take a look. If you follow me on Twitter, or X as I should say now, you may have seen that I paid just £124 for this CM3 as a grade A refurb. That's about $156. US dollars. That was a few months ago in May when I posted the shorts video of my unboxing and initial impressions, and I've been using it since then and I'm ready to give my thoughts to help you consider this Chromebook against some of the alternatives I mentioned. More on them at the end of the video. The Flip CM3 weighs in at just 1.13 kg, that's about 2.49 pounds, and from the outside it feels pretty sleek and premium to me, with the aluminium lid and the plastic bottom, and the rest of the Chromebook is also plastic. Spec-wise, as usual, there are quite a few variations out there that I'll cover. The one I have features the following. It's got the MediaTek MT8192 processor, also known as the Companio 820, and with that processor it's running 32-bit Chrome OS, and we'll see updates to Chrome OS until June 2029. That's what's known as the AUE date for the device. It's also got 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. In the video description I'll link to the Asus Flip CM3 page for the US and UK models and you'll see there there are some pretty important variations to look out for. So this is the US page and it references this model ending FVA. I think FVA model will always reference the MediaTek MT8183 processor being in the Chromebook. That's the older processor. It also means a shorter update life. So if you look at the FVA model on the AUE page, you can see it's only going to get updates till June 2028. And there are also some models that will come with the stylus in the box and others that won't. Uh, mine didn't come in the box, so you're just going to have to check what you get. Port selection is decent for the size of the Chromebook. On the left hand side you've got a USB-C port for power, data and display out, a charging indicator, a micro SD card slot, a full size USB-A port as well as a headphone jack. Over on the right hand side you've got a second USB-C port, a volume rocker and a physical power button with a built in LED. The 12-inch IPS touchscreen gets bright enough, Asus claim it's 220 nits, all I know is I run it fairly high on the brightness level settings. The 3x2 aspect ratio of the screen should mean it's better for productivity, for example if you're working on a lot of documents where you're going to be scrolling a lot. Asus say this increase of about 20% space on a traditional 16x9 display means it offers more immersive viewing and less scrolling. The screen has a native resolution of 1366x912 but you can push it up to 1518x1030. The screen is compatible with the stylus, as mentioned mine didn't come with one but here I am just borrowing from my detachable CM3. The bezels are thin and at the top in the centre there's a basic 720p webcam that does the job but won't particularly impress as I find with most Chromebook webcams. There's no privacy slider but there's a small LED that lights when it's on to let you know it's filming. Overall I do quite like the 3x2 aspect ratio of the screen but for me it leads on to one of the areas I'm not as keen on. If you're a regular viewer of the channel the keyboard on this Flip CM3 might look familiar to you as Asus have borrowed the keyframe from this device's sibling, the Asus Detachable CM3 Chromebook. It takes a bit of getting used to and it's by no means awful, I just personally find I have to pay a bit more attention to how I'm typing due to it being a bit more cramped due to that 3x2 screen ratio, obviously translating into the keyboard space. But I do get there in the end. The key travel is fairly deep but I just find it a bit mushy. What I do find more of a disappointment is the trackpad. It's relatively large, which is good, and it's not loose as such, but it just doesn't feel as tight or responsive as some I've tested on similar Chromebooks, including the Asus Spin 311. Asus also seem to really like putting shiny, cheap-feeling plastic next to the trackpad on either side where you rest your palms. I've noticed this on a few of their other Chromebooks, like the CX1500 that I recently reviewed, and I really can't say it's a positive. Performance of the Asus Flip CM3 with the MediaTek MT8192 processor is decent enough for basic use and light gaming, with Android games from the Google Play Store like Roblox, for example, and boot up as quick as you'd expect. You're swiftly into Chrome OS. Coupled with that, the battery life seems really good too. My usual marker is to get through light use on one day and into a second day without any bother, and the CM3 Flip certainly handled that just fine. The speakers are on the bottom as you'd expect for a small Chromebook, but they actually wrap up around the front edges on either corner, as you can see here, and they deliver some pretty decent sound for a small Chromebook, definitely with some body and feel to it. Here's an example so you can hear what I mean. I'll link the track in the description. You 
Using the CM3 flip with my pluggable dock, it's worth noting that I could only output an extended display to one monitor. So the best setup I had was the Chromebook screen plus one extended monitor running at full HD. If you're looking for a budget price small Chromebook with a decent amount of update life left and considering this flip CM3, definitely compare it against the other Chromebooks I've shown you in this video. The detachable 2-in-1 CM3, known as the CL3 in some regions, and the convertible Asus Spin 311. You can watch both of my full reviews by picking one of these videos on screen next. For me, I still prefer the ergonomics of the Spin 311 and that slightly lower weight, but the newer processor and 3x2 screen aspect ratio do make this Flip CM3 a really compelling competitor. Let me know which one you'd pick in the comments.